I feel like going on another walkabout today. But to minimize the distractions on my way to the next quote unquote checkpoint, I'm gonna start off uh, on the uh, hiking path and then the gravel path. Also, I have set myself a little sauna going when I return. So, onward! Right, so at the first quote unquote checkpoint. Yep, that's the one. So it basically runs parallel to the gravel path, but uh, I think there aren't any the agricultural machines riding this one. I hope at least. So, onward. Future raspberries. The wild variety. I'm nearing the second uh, larger hill very soon. This time without competing with the ants, at least not as much. Oh, we're almost there. Also, I was wrong about the ants. I think one of them just bit my toe. Fun fact most of these uh, sandstone hills across the river have their own names, and uh, the smaller one, the one closest to home, it's called Fern Hill, and this one here is called the Burnt Hill. I, I don't know the next ones that well. Here's another fun fact. This whole uh, river, valley, canyon, whatever, uh, displays the uh, really, really old landscape. <coughs> like uh, the uh, original, or not original, but the, uh, the river's Bed as it was during the Ice Age, and then maybe maybe soon after. So the the river of modern day is is is, is a mere trickle in the bottom of the of the old timey river. <laughs> and why I was thinking about this was because I I saw these uh, stones here, and somehow I believe these are also the Ice Age remnants, because in our area unlike, let's say, Finland, uh, the uh, granite bedrock is kind of deep and uh, and if you see large boulders on, uh, well, on the ground, <laughs> then it is very likely that they have been carried here uh, by the continental ice and, well, just unceremoniously dropped there when the ice uh, melted. So, this is the fork on the road where I turned towards home last time, but today I'm going to take this route and very soon it's time to start making my way to the river. And here we are. So this is the spot where I stopped last time. You still can't see the farmhouse very well, it's on the other side of the river. Also, <laughs> there is this uh, discarded boat. I have seen it many times before, so apparently it's still here. So yes, this is where today's adventure properly kicks off. Onward! Okay, this is where I want to try and deviate from the hiking path again and rejoin with the river. The trail is faint when it's there. Maybe Fisherman's Siddix, Siddix spot, I believe. Ah, that is a bear bottle, confirmed.
Mm, an ancient artifact. Well, not that ancient. Proofs like these were used to uh, mark the uh, um forest blocks, <laughs> for lack of a better word. <laughs> what a wonderful patch of peat moss. So I'm, I'm guessing there are these uh, little uh, wet pits around the bank. And you can identify them uh, by where the moss grows. This beauty here is future foxberries. So yeah, this is like a proper little marshland slash bog right here on the on a little on this little pocket on the riverside. And uh, it's, it's properly wet too. But the other thing is that I don't want to step through it too much because when you it's it's really tender ground, so if you just sort of stomp through it, then uh, your trails will be there like forever, and it takes quite a bit for the moss to recover. So I am going to find a more solid ground and carry on a little bit more. Obviously human element, <laughs> but at least they have sort of collected it all in a uh, contained unit. Good as for you. And there's the next uh, sandstone hill, which I think would be a very good point to set the checkpoint for next time. So I, I might get up there on my search for a trail back but I am not gonna go much farther from it today So uh, right now I'm just following the hiking trail back. <laughs> 